Welcome to the lesson that will teach you about CARP design. C stands for contrast, A stands for alignment, R stands for repetition, and P stands for proximity. The first thing you'll want to do is get a hold of the fixed poster from your teacher. Go ahead and open it up and you will be in Google Drawings to make changes to this poster. You will learn how to use various tools within this program. The first thing I'm going to do is change the background of this poster. I will right click on the background and choose background. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the dark color purple for my background. I might select my title and choose the paint bucket and choose a lighter shade of the purple from that same column. Keep in mind that any colors you pick are complementary. So for example, if you click this green, you would probably use the lighter shade of that green. But because I picked the dark purple from this column, I will change it to the lighter shade of purple or white to give greater contrast. The next part of CARP design that I will be talking about is repetition. Take note of the borders around each image. They're inconsistent and they're different colors. Take note of the text boxes. They're different background colors and they're also different font sizes and font styles. They also lack contrast. So I'm going to show you a shortcut. I'm going to hold down the control key and select all the text boxes at once. I'm going to go to that paint bucket and choose a lighter shade of the purple to go with my purple color scheme. I'm then going to go to the text color and choose black for greater contrast. I'm then going to select a font that is readable. Georgia is a good readable font. Arial is considered good. Cambria, Times New Roman. Don't be picking fonts like Impact because they're hard to read. You can use fonts like Impact, Rockwell, and Lobster for titles, but don't use it for the bulk of reading. So keep that in mind when you choose your font. I'm then going to change the size to 14. Now I have a consistency in the font color, the font style, and the font size. Do make sure that if there's any extra space in those text boxes that you fix it by making them more compact. It's a waste of space not to do this. I'm then going to go ahead and select all the images at once by holding down the control key. I will go to the border color and maybe I'll choose transparent or a lighter shade of that purple. I will then click on the border size and choose one pixel. I'm not a huge fan of really thick borders, so maybe two pixels. Part of repetition is the image sizes. Take note that the images are not roughly the same size. The penguin image is really huge in comparison. So go to one of the corners and drag it towards the center until it's roughly the same size as the other images. I'm now going to choose the text bubble and make it so there is contrast. Right now it is difficult to read. Now yellow does go good with purple. So I'll choose yellow and I'm going to change it to black for greater contrast. Some students might select the text and go ahead and change it to that dark purple that's the same color as their background. So as of now, we have contrast, we have repetition, so now we're gonna talk about proximity. You want to have a little bit of distance from the animals and their groups. So I'm gonna move the text box and get a little distance from the other animals. I'll go ahead and bring this one down to have a little distance from the polar bear. So now they're grouped together, so I do have proximity. The last one is alignment. You can see that there is little alignment over on the right, and I'm going to show you how to use the alignment tool within Google Drawings. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and select everything on the left. I'm going to choose arrange, align, and then choose left. I'm going to go to the other side and hold the control key and select everything along the right and choose arrange, align, along the right. I'll go ahead and bring it in a little bit so that there's a little bit of a border around the edges. Now if you want, you can also take those text boxes along the bottom, choose Arrange, Align along the bottom. Now you don't have to be this regimented with your alignment, but a lot of students like to align everything according to that demonstration. I am going to make a couple more subtle changes. I'm going to choose the text and change it to that light shade of yellow that I used for this text box. I'm going to hold the shift key down on my images and my text boxes, and I'm going to change that border around them as well. I have to reselect the text boxes, 
and make sure that I choose yellow and I do believe I picked a two pixel border so now you have the consistency on the border of the text boxes and the images and the color scheme is fabulous when you make your actual poster you will be encouraged to come in select the title and then choose something interesting maybe Rockwell and bold now if you do that for the title you need to consistently do that for every single title and I'm actually going to make the title a little bigger so I might change it to 16 I'll click in 16 enter so it stands out a little more because the title should be a little bit bigger so I'll type in 16 enter and this is the repetition rule and now I'm going to click on my title and change that to Rockwell as well this concludes the session on how to make modifications to your poster with CARP design in mind. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.